See that spot right there? That, by this point, should have a Christmas tree in it. Yeah. Why don't we have a Christmas tree, dude? Because the beanbag is in the way. That's not why we don't have a Christmas tree. Because it's raining. All right. All it does is rain. Rain, rain, rain. Rain, Eliza. Rain, rain. Eliza, look at me. Your I mouth, dude. I don't see dude. any more rain. Look at your mouth. It's raining. It's going to rain all day long. Today was the day we were going to get our tree. But we're going to have to postpone that because it's raining. So, how are we supposed to get ready for Christmas if we don't have a tree? There's the, f there's the fake one out in the office. Well, that one goes in the office and mommy doesn't like, mommy doesn't like fake trees anymore. So we have to get a real one for in here. What are you making right now? Uh, pigs in a blanket and mac and cheese. Mmm, that sounds good. Cause we're oh, stuck inside. Oh, so mm -hmm. We get what? That's our decorations? This. Ooh, who is that? I don't know. Who do you think that is? Mm -hmm. Get it clean, Liza. Dust it off. Don't she's touch clean. Ah. Don't good job. Man, she's good. Hey, what do you say we do some decorating? Even though we can't get a tree, yeah. we're going to have to decorate Christmas. Let's find out other things we can put up. You look like you're looking way up here. I am. You're I'm so tall. Maybe I should put the camera up here. <laughs> is that really my perspective? This is my eye level. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no wonder I slouch. I'm too tall. Oh, All right. Okay, Carson and I are gonna pull out the, the uh, Christmas decorations from the basement. Dude, I'm scared. I don't wanna go down there. I'm not scared of the basement. Oh. Well, at least it's clean down here. Yeah. Kinda, for the most part. There's that. <laughs> there we are. The Christmas bins. They sit down here so many months. Just for us to come down here, pull them out for one month a year. This is my favorite one. You like that? That's my favorite. Granny made that. That's made with felt, spun felt or whatever. Here they are, not this one. That's not Christmas. These two are Christmas. That's all the Christmas decorations we have. I feel like we should have more, like we need more lights. There's these three and this one too. Oh, uh, not that one. Those are snow globes. You know, we got some lights and stuff that we can put up there. Yeah, a little snowman. Dude, isn't Christmas your favorite time of year? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's your favorite holiday, hands down. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, you want to carry this one? Yep. Can you carry that? Yeah. Okay. There is something special about, like, Christmas season. I think I say this every single year. It's just the way people act and I don't know. It's just that feeling. It's the Christmas spirit. I guess. I don't know. Look at it. It says joy. Is that what that says? Actually, it looks like it says J Snowman Y. Oh, you like that? That should hang on like a door or something somewhere. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody freeze. You can't put up Christmas decorations. Without. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, you're supposed to sing it, dude. Dance, Liza. <laughs> All right, let's decorate. Yeah. Can I wrap you up now? Yeah, yeah. 
There is a right way to arrange a nativity scene. You know what, we just watched a movie too called The Star. There's a really good movie um, and it's the, whole, it's the whole story of the, the night that baby Jesus was born and the whole like leading up to Mary and Joseph going to Bethlehem. And uh, it's actually a really good movie. It's an animated one. The kids liked it. Did you like that star movie, Liza? Look, she's researching right now. <laughs> okay, nativity scene, check. We need some lights in here. We got Garland going up here. Hey, the, Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of lights. We have this whole thing of Garland that we didn't use last year. So that's 50 foot. And I like wrapping, like, I like wrapping garland and lights together, like, like, uh, like this. It looks really, really cool. Watch, this is where this one goes, right up here. Now, I don't care how many decorations we put up and how nice it looks, but we will never, ever touch the level of decorating that my brother and his wife have done. I'm gonna try and get a clip and see if I can share it with you right now, but it's insane. Before we light this up, I gotta put a sand hat on. Oh you have to put it over the top, like this. I didn't want to have to mess my hair up. You know how long it's been since I had like a haircut, which <laughs> you'd like it, right? <laughs> but you know, I had a haircut and I actually did my hair. So, where are we doing? You're making me squat. Where? We what do you think? I like it. Santa hat? I got Santa hat. I like your Santa hat too, Liza. <laughs> Alright, let's show them what this light looks like. You know you can't have Christmas decorations without some sort of light, so let's light it up! Three, two, two one! Alright! Not as bright and cool as I thought, but still, it's Christmas lights, yeah! <laughs> this is how you do that. This is how you're gonna do that, guys. You're gonna take some regular garland. That's the cheap stuff, right? And then you get you a light. And then you just hold it, right? And then on the other end, they're just gonna twist it and wrap it. And then you've got lighted garland. Looks way better than just regular green garland. You probably wonder, why do they even sell that stuff? Well, cause you can do this with it. Oh, what happened to that one frosty thing that we had? The snowman that stood by the front door. Oh yeah. What happened to that guy? Oh, the flood of 2016. 17, 2017. Huh? We lost it, dude. Who remembers when we came back from our vacation only to find our uh, basement was fully flooded and we lost a lot. We lost a lot of stuff, actually. The only reason, the only reason we still have Christmas decorations at all is because they were in this, these two totes. That's it. Like, if you have a basement, you need to have stuff in totes like that because, well, that's, those are saviors, man. So, no front door frosty. Unless we go get a new one. Front door frosty. Front door frosty? Rip, rip front door frosty. Rip, let's, let's all have a moment of silence for front door frosty. Okay, let's go. I like your hat. Your hat looks like it's from the original Grinch movie. <laughs> no! It's on by the Grinch. The original Grinch. Okay, so I think it's official. We did more destruction than we did decorating, honestly. And we have like so little decoration. We spent a lot of time decorating things. I mean, it's just little things set up here and there. And got some lights there and we got the lights there and we got some garland up there. But we lost so much, man. We had so much more. We lost so much in that basement flood. Basement floods are the worst. It was, it was Especially the front door frosty. And I know. I thought about our tree fence. That's true. That was handmade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Liza's got a little elf Santa helper outfit happening. <laughs> Veronica, it's Veronica's thing. What did you find on Facebook? It's a Christmas Eve hot cocoa. Crock pot hot cocoa. Crock pot hot cocoa. Actually, hot cocoa. I actually was questioning it like Crockpot hot cocoa, like how, who would go through all the trouble to make hot cocoa when you could just open the pouch and pour it in a cup, pour some water in and put it in the microwave? That's the exact same thing that Colin said. <laughs> really? But we'll have to test it if, like, the taste. 
Mm, we do have both, don't we? I think so. I just feel like, you know, like if you're decorating for Christmas, especially if it's getting closer to Christmas, hot cocoa is like something that you have. Oh so we've God. been decorating for Christmas. All day, literally all day. Something that is always nice during Christmas season, cold season, is like hot chocolate. Yes. Mm. Colin here Very is my good. inspiration for this. I found this recipe and he's my hot chocolate drinker. Yes. So we're gonna see how it turns out. What do you say? Yes. Um, I think it's gonna be good because it's of course hot chocolate. Well, let's get started. You're gonna need your crock pot on high. Okay. High? You put well, it on high? Get started once it, once it gets hot, then you can obviously turn it down to low. Okay. That's one and a half cups of heavy cream. Oh, that is so heavy. It's a lot. One can of sweetened condensed milk. Smell it, what's the smell? Dude, that looks like syrup! Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> yeah. It smells like weird Sweet Sweetened condensed beer. milk does not smell very good. It smells like buttered popcorn. <laughs> Here, oh, really? That? Two hot. cups of milk chocolate chips. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, yes, dude. We need a teaspoon. Why as well. you guys <gasps> uh, is this a teaspoon? No. Half a teaspoon? Here. There you go. Thank you. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we have a half a teaspoon, so we're going to do two of them. Next is six cups of milk. Oh, we're missing cups? No, just one cup. Carson needs some. Oh, maybe he can share. He can have my cup, okay? Okay. Okay. Then you will have a cup. But I'll just share with mommy. How about that? Okay. You know, that's the beauty of crock pots. You pretty much put everything all in there and then wait for it to warm up, stir it up, and it's done. No, this actually smells like ice cream. <laughs> I dare you to take a little sip of it. <laughs> this is my good pouring hand. <laughs> oh, Jeez. yes. Vanilla extract. Here we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is it terrible? <laughs> is it really spicy? Dang, really? I want to try it. Now you do it. Yeah. I've actually never done this before. Carson, I'm doing it with you, alright? You won't, you won't be the only one. I'm going in too. I told you. Yeah, I, I told you. <laughs> I told you. That's disgusting. Wait, vanilla's supposed to be good. Oh, that's terrible. Eat some of these. No wonder whenever this is in a recipe, it's only like... A little bit. Mm -hmm. I need more. <laughs> oh, oh. Don't do that. You're just like all fired up. So I guess you just sit here and wait mm -hmm. and wait for everything to melt and cook together. Oh my god, I'm gonna hold oh. that. I haven't put the whole thing in my mouth. What are you putting in your mouth? Marshmallow. Oh, you are a marshmallow monster, dude. Nice. Nice. Jesus, totally is a marshmallow. Everyone's a marshmallow monster. We're gonna eat all the marshmallows before this is even done. So it's been an hour. Um, halfway through, I did turn it down from high to low, so that way what? the chocolate didn't burn. Dude. It smells that. amazing. It does smell amazing. Let me smell. Oh, that smells like hot chocolate. Smell that Liza. smells like the best hot chocolate ever. Don't touch. Oh, and you've even got these cute little Christmas cups to put it in. Oh no, that's not enough. You gotta fill your cup with marshmallows, dude. No, you don't. Yeah, look at that. How's that look? Yeah, good. Good. Mmm, delicious! <laughs> It's actually really good. Mm. Mm. Super good. 
Is it? Is it like the packets that you? Yep. It it's not mouth. like that at all. Put, it's a little bit, but. Mostly it tastes like chocolate chips. Yeah, is it worth the trouble? That's the big question. I think it tastes nothing like the, the instant hot cocoa. Hmm. Crock pot hot cocoa. Is it worth the mess? Then get the one in here. And you got a lot of it, so you can have it. So you can just put it on there, have it on low. It's so creamy for yeah. sure. Don't want that it's one. got a lot on the back end, you know what I'm saying? I don't have a cup to cheers with because I don't have my own holiday mug, but this seems to be like a actually really, Maybe really good hot cocoa recipe. And it was it's fun as a family to make it. Yeah. Mm. It's good, you should try it. We spent most of the day decorating. We cleaned, then decorated, and then had to re-clean. <laughs> <laughs> it is December 1st, so like it is, it's like, it's Vlogmas time. Okay. Should we vlog a lot in December? If this video gets an abnormal number of likes, and I mean abnormal, I'm talking in like the 10,000 like range, that's super abnormal. I don't know if we can do daily, but maybe a few a week would be really nice. Hope you're getting ready for the holidays, and uh, yeah, tomorrow we're gonna get our Christmas tree. Maybe we'll bring you along. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to see you right back here tomorrow.